Everybody, what's up? This is Trey. I'd like to say thank you all for tuning into my channel on today. If you're new, I hope you can make it to the end. And if you have been here since day one, I'd like to say thank you so much for rocking with me. So we're going to jump straight into the story. The story comes from Dayton, Ohio. An African-American woman in her 30s had children and one of her kids came up dead. I think it was the baby was one years old. So they say they're uh, still trying to really get the age on the baby. So they're going to do an autopsy on the baby to find out exactly how the baby died, his age, and how long he's been dead. So a phone call came into the 911 station that said it was a foul smell that was inside the apartment. Now, this stench had to be so repulsive to the point that somebody had to be like, look, this just ain't no regular stinky trash smell or somebody need to wash laundry. This smell smells like a dead body. So they called the authorities. Authorities came in. They went through the apartment, searched the woman's apartment, and found out it was the remains of a baby that was in the apartment. So, boom, that's where the story comes from. And when I saw the story, I was thinking the same thing you all was thinking. Oh, this woman needs to be threw up on the jail. She needs to go to hell. She needs to... She need to burn. You understand what I'm saying? Because you are thinking to yourself, how in the world could a mother do this to her own child? So I did some investigation. I went onto her Facebook page because I wanted to know more about this woman instead of just what we see in the media. I wanted to give her a fair chance. So I went onto her Facebook page. I found out that she likes to go clubbing. I found out that she's a boxer and she fights because I heard a video of her talking about beating some girl so-and-so. So when I heard that, I was like, surely this can't be all this is to this woman. So I did some more digging and then that's how I found out that she was a boxer. So I was like, okay, I'd rather find out that she's a boxer than to find out she just likes going around randomly beating up girls because she gets paid for what she do. So then I started thinking, I wonder if that's how the baby died. I wonder if she beat this baby to death. Because the baby died somehow? Did she have a living boyfriend that beat the baby? Because in the news, you be hearing stories like this about moms getting, getting relationships and they sit there and allow their boyfriend to beat the baby. And especially if the, if the baby wasn't his, you know this child was probably taking a welling. See, the first thing that you have to understand is that when moms kill their kids, this stuff just don't come overnight. Just like there was this this uh, mom who just recently pushed her autistic son into a lake. And then she ran and started screaming help. And someone videotaped it and said that was her first attempt. And then she went an hour later and then they found her son dead for real. Inside of another large body of water. You understand? So this stuff that happens to moms when they kill their kids, it don't just happen overnight. They just don't get a wild out there and say I'm going to kill Johnny today. See, all this stuff, it stems from somewhere. If something, if murder springs up out of you, it's because it was rooted in. So my guess is that one years old, what do kids do? Cry. And I have a two-year-old. My two-year-old cries all the time. You understand? But that's what goes with having kids. And those are the things that people don't talk about. They don't talk about it enough. They just they make you see... Oh, a woman pregnant, and she all on Facebook showing her belly, showing her sonogram. Oh, they haven't revealed parts because people love stuff like that. They love having revealed. Is it going to be a boy or is it going to be a girl? We love stuff like that because it gets us attention. Everybody clicking like, 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 like. Oh, congratulations. How many months are you? Are you going to have a reveal party? Let me cook you a cake. People love stuff like that. And half of the time, that's the reason why I think people have kids, because of the attention. But after the baby's born, and when the guests go home, because they, they they done with saying how cute the baby is, they go back to their house, and then it's just you stuck in a house with a crying baby. You either going to get a hard baby or easy baby. Some people get easy babies, which means the baby just sit there and look cute and sleep all day and then cry when he's hungry or when she want to be changed. But then you get other babies that just cry all the time from a the time they born 
probably till they turn five years old, they just cry, cry, cry. And like, that's how my son is. He cry, 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 cry. Sometimes I think he cried just because he discovered he had a mouth. But that's what kids do. And it is frustrating. So I understand that part. It's frustrating because when you have kids, your life is not technically over, but it sort of is over because now all your time and attention goes to your kids. And I saw pictures of her in a club, so she likes the club. And if you don't have no babysitter, what you gonna do? Stay home. It's been some stories that mamas will leave their kids in the house and go handle their business. Can't care less if that baby three years old. Turn on loud music so you can't hear the baby cry and burn off. So I'm pretty sure all this pressure was building up on this woman. I'm not taking up for her, y'all. I'm just trying to let y'all know how stuff like this happens because you have to literally put yourself in someone else's shoes. And for God's sake, I hope she did not. I hope she liked the baby's father because when mamas don't like their kid's father and if the baby come out looking just like the father, she gonna start hating the child. You understand what I'm saying? This stuff is real, and we don't talk about this stuff. I believe that's the reason why God allowed our kids to look like us. Because people love themselves. People love seeing their name on their birthday cake. They like seeing their name written across stuff. Oh, yeah, let me get my name on that shirt. People love themselves. So if you have a baby that looks like you, what you gonna do? Love it even more because it resembles you or resembles the person that you love. Now imagine if you hate yourself and your baby look like you or, or it looks like the person you lay down with. What you think going to happen? You going to start abusing the baby? Start treating the baby indifferent? Because I see mamas do that. Oh, you act like your daddy. I can't stand him because he look just like his daddy. But the one who baby daddy they in love with that's the child they take care of the most. I really do hate when I see kids growing up with different fathers. Because parents could pass on, but it's still sibling rivalry between the two because mama favored you more because she loved your daddy and she didn't too much care for me because she didn't like my daddy. It caused the kids to literally lead and walk on different paths in life. Like she had more than one kid. And I saw a post where it said on, on, on um, Facebook, it said that her other kids didn't live with her. I even saw where a young man had said on Facebook, he said that he knew her. And sometimes when he would ask her about her kids, she would change the subject. Because she didn't want to deal with it. See, people like ownership, but they don't like the responsibility to come with kids. Ownership to say, oh yeah, that's my baby. Especially when somebody tell you be cute. Oh, Tyrone show is cute. Thank you. I know he looked just like me. People love that moment. But behind closed doors, when them kids get to hollering and don't want to go to sleep and you can't figure out why they crying and one years old, he not at the stage where he can really talk yet and really tell you what he wants that pressure start building up the next thing you know shut up punch pop kick slap hit you understand what i'm saying and a lot of times the life we put on facebook or show on facebook is not the life that we live behind closed doors because on facebook it looked like she loved and cared for her kids but one thing i did notice from her facebook page the, the baby that lost his life was the one she had less pictures of on Facebook. So when I saw that, I said, you know what, that's, that's a, there goes another red flag. So it lets me know that it was already some animosity in her heart against her kid. We live in a real world, you guys. And on the news, these stories are unbelievable, but they're real and they're happening. Use protection. Get on birth control. If you don't want the responsibility 
of having a child so that you won't spend the rest of your life behind closed doors or behind bars. Because you couldn't handle being a parent. It's more to kids than just taking your baby to the store and going to the park and having fun. It's more to that. Sometimes people get caught up in everybody else's life. Seeing moms having fun with their kids and be like, I want that life right there. But those moms are not going to show you Every time Johnny's sick and you got to take Johnny to the hospital and get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, changing diapers and going to the fridge, getting bottles, they don't show you that. They just put those cute pictures on Facebook of the baby, but they don't show you behind closed doors the baby doing all of this and throwing temper tantrums. It gets to be too much for moms. That's the reason why it's best for kids to grow up in two-parent households or grow up where there's extra help in the house because you can just trade them off. Here, mom, he, he's doing too much. Mama come and step in and come get the baby. Or sister comes in and step in and come get the baby so that you can have a break. I believe this generation of kids, they not going to have kids. You want to know why? Because they're probably spending their whole entire childhood babysitting their little brothers and sisters. Because I be seeing these 10-year-olds carrying their little brother. And mom be like, you better not drop my baby. Well, first of all, that baby's too big for that little boy to be carrying up them flights of steps. Just because you talking on the phone and you don't want to carry him. And then as soon as that baby trip and fall down them steps, I'm going I'm to punch you in your face. You should be punching yourself in the face. Why do we make our kids do our parenting job? And you go off on your older child when you really should be going off on the baby daddy. Like it makes me wonder where was the dad at? That's why women, you have to be careful of who you lay down with. Oh, he cute girl. Go get his number. Well, first of all, he's sitting on the car drinking liquor, smoking weed, and he should be at work somewhere. And he out there chilling on the curb every single day. Oh, he finna be my baby daddy. You right. He gonna screw you and then leave. Like I had a, I had a friend who worked for CPS. And my friend was telling me, the Bible says that we're supposed to go and multiply. But he said that parents today, they multiply and then they go. You understand what I'm saying? Because they don't want to deal with the responsibility or deal with the fruit. That they're bare. This stuff is serious. If you don't want the responsibility of having children, don't have them. Don't have them. That's why they came up with that show called Snap. Because you have a, a just a second, boom, you just snap. And when you realize it's your whole life is over. When you feel yourself getting to that breaking point, mom, and you've done all you could do, you need to call somebody. Hey, could you could you come get Sarah? She's painting on the wall again, and I, I can't deal with it. When my son starts hollering and screaming, and I know I've done every all I could do, I let him sit in his room. Turn on his little TV. Holler till your head come off. You need, we say kids need a timeout. Sometimes parents, you need a timeout to just go in the room, shut your door. Take a breather, okay? I fed her. I changed her. She's still crying. I rocked her. Didn't work. Okay, I'm just going to let her sit there for a little bit. Give it two minutes till you calm yourself down. Then go back in there. Try to look for a solution. I'm not saying what this woman done was right. Because she was straight wrong. We all know that. That's why I'm here to make a video. 
She was wrong for what she done. But moms, you need to know your pushing point. If you already had three kids and all of them kids were not in your custody, why would you produce another one? You got to stop producing kids if you know you are unable to take care of them. Because nine times out of ten, if you have kid, a, a child with, with, with a man that you know for a fact, you his side chick, he not going to be there. And don't tell yourself, oh, I can change him. I can change him. He not going to change. You the side chick. He already told you I had three babies mamas while y'all was laying down with each other. And the only thing you said was, well, I'm going to be the fourth one. Instead of saying, no, you get up and get out of my house. We're done here. Women, y'all got to learn to start making better choices of who you lay down with. So that you won't find yourself in this situation. This might be a video, but I'm talking to somebody out there right now who got those kids that are driving you crazy. And the thought crossed your mind. If I, I should just slap them real quick. Knock them out. This is the wake up call today. And if you have been doing it and you ain't got caught yet, this is the wake up call today to stop. Real talk. I hope this video encourages somebody. I hope this video blesses somebody. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. To this poor little baby that came to this earth for only one year. And now he's back in the hands of God. Was probably most definitely is a more better place for you little baby I don't know the name of this child but rest in peace